it's like we're, we're treasure hunters basically in a sense because we really want to know what's under the water and what it looks like. The purpose of this bathymetric survey is for us to basically get a more up-to-date base map of Dillon Reservoir. This has never been mapped with water in it. All we have is pre-reservoir data, which is topography maps, aerial photographs. A lot's changed in the years that the water's been over it. Right now we're mapping over Roberts Tunnel, the west portal of it underwater. This is what our beam profile looks like. This is our sonar head and these are our beams shooting down. As you can see, we're on a slope right here right now. New technology and better instruments I think we can more accurately determine our reservoir capacities now than we could in the past. We have a complete 3D view of what the underwater area of the reservoir looks like. Uh, stuff that's never been seen since the reservoir was inundated. The more sediment that moves in, the less storage capacity we have for water. We're able to take this information, look at the face of dams, and our caretakers really like the maps that we produce because they're working on these facilities every day. So this gives us a, a snapshot in time of what is going on underwater. As our customer base grows, it's just really important that we know reservoir capacities because the yield that our system can produce is dependent upon those capacities. This is a good example to show how Denver Water really knows their system, cares about their system, and cares about the future.